Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a winter essentials slash current favorites. I don't really know what I'm going to title this video, but basically I just kind of wanted to sit down and share with you guys what I've been loving the past couple months and things that are staples during the winter time for me. We have like one clothing item I think and then we have a couple beauty items we have some perfumes and candles of course what's a favorites video for me without candles right so if you guys want to see what I have been loving then just go ahead and keep watching All right, so the first thing that I want to share is not a beauty item it is a pair of boots I placed an order on pretty little thing on Black Friday these are the boots that I got I think they're so fucking cute and I have to say that I've probably been wearing these like every day since I bought them they are just like a tan what would you call this like a combat slash like hiker boot I don't know with a pretty thick platform on the bottom but I absolutely love these they are so comfortable and like so cute pretty little thing was having a really really good black friday sale I want to say their stuff was like 60 to 70 percent off so i paid less than 30 dollars for these boots i think like 25 or 28. they kind of remind me of like a hiker boot like i would go hiking in these probably not really but you know so next we will do um beauty because i really only have like a few things to share the first one is actually a lipstick and i shared this in my um kim kardashian inspired makeup look video this is the kkw nude number no. three cream lipstick i have been wearing this color non-stop it's what i have on my lips right now but this is what that color looks like i believe on the website it's described as like a terracotta nude this nude has quickly become my absolute favorite the only thing is i wish it was a little bit more matte for me personally i just like a little bit more of a matte formula but obviously this is not a matte lipstick it's a cream lipstick i just wanted to quickly share this i've been wearing this non-stop the past couple months last time i was at ulta this was sold out i wanted to pick one up just like for a backup so it must be a pretty popular shade but with good reason i think it's so pretty and yeah love this and then the next lip product that i wanted to share is actually just a lip moisturizer so this is a lip brand that they sell at bath and body works these are absolutely amazing especially in the winter time and the colder months my lips get really dry so i need that extra moisture wherever i can get it and these are amazing this one in particular is the vanilla mint so this does have like a minty scent to it so if you're not into that you probably wouldn't like these but for me i personally like it it kind of like gives your breath a minty smell what i absolutely love these always down for a good lip moisturizer so if you need one pick one up they have them they have like two or three different flavors i think and then they also have this one's just clear um but i know that they also have like tinted ones and then the last beauty favorite that i have is actually just a bronzer and this is the elf forever sunkissed bronzer i feel like i don't really hear very many people talking about this bronzer and i absolutely love it first of all the color if i could get it open with these long ass nails the color is perfect not too cool not too warm i use this bronzer just to bronze up my entire face my tan has completely faded i'm not tan anymore i'm in my winter skin tone now girl she is pale she's pale as fuck so if you are like my skin tone maybe a shade deeper a shade lighter i think you'd really enjoy this bronzer it's beautiful i love it i don't hear very many people talking about it it blends beautifully it is extremely pigmented and it's just so good so good so the next two items that i have are actually skincare items and i have been loving these two things because my skin has been extremely dry lately i typically have like oily to combination skin um it's not like excessively oily but definitely more on the oily side than it is on the dry side so i recently picked this up this is a neutrogena hydro boost water gel and this does contain hyaluronic acid anyone who's tried it that i know personally has really liked it um, but before I picked it up, 
I did look this up on I think it was Ulta I want to say the Ulta website the reviews and it actually had a lot of negative reviews people said that the heavy scent really broke them out or just irritated their skin and they you know could no longer use it which I will say that this does have a pretty strong scent so if you are sensitive to stuff like that on your uh, skin then I would definitely probably stray away from this I've yet to experience any irritation and I have used this for probably a little over a month now and as you can see I am pretty much at the very last of this product the only negative is the scent but other than that I have been absolutely loving this product it leaves my skin feeling so soft so plump and moisturized without leaving like a greasy feel so next is a toner and I've actually been using this product for a while now um, this is what <laughs> this is what it looks like um, I keep this in my bathroom and when I take a shower the steam like messes up the paper on this thing but I wanted to share this product anyways this is the Thayer's witch hazel in the scent rose petal I personally love rose I know rose scented things are really you either love rose or you hate rose I personally love the scent of rose um, and also rose is really hydrating for your skin so this goes hand in hand with that other product that I just showed you so after I wash my face I will go in with this on like a little cotton round and this takes off anything that was left behind from the cleanser what I love about this product though is that it doesn't leave my skin feeling really tight and like dry a lot of toners do that um, I mean that's what they're meant to do is to tighten the pores but a lot of toners um, can feel like they're almost like stripping your skin but this does not feel like that at all. It leaves my skin feeling still really moisturized. I've just been absolutely loving this. Right, so next I have two perfumes that I have been absolutely loving and that just like are cozy to me. They remind me of winter time. The first one is actually a Bath & Body perfume. This is a scent into the night and I'm pretty sure this is like a newer scent or maybe a scent that they only bring around during the holidays. I showed this in my vlog last time and I had just picked this up, never tried it before. So good. This is actually empty, like there's literally nothing left in here. I need to pick up another one. Um, but I kept this in my purse and I would just spray myself really quickly, like whenever I would go into work. And I got so many compliments on this perfume, which surprised me because it's not an overly powerful scent like it's not anything that's like offensive i guess i just i don't really smell it on myself that much when i initially spray it i love the scent of it it smells absolutely amazing but i don't really smell it on myself throughout the day but i do get compliments on it like hours after i'm wearing it so i mean it must linger right i guess i just don't smell it on myself if you see this at your bath and body girl pick it up it is so bomb the next perfume is a little bit more of a luxurious perfume this is the chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is definitely a date night, sexy, heavy, mature, could be borderline offensive if you spray too much. You do not need a lot of this perfume. Ugh, this will always remind me of high school. Not high school, actually. I didn't wear this in high school. Funny story, I had this perfume on my wish list in high school and my mom and I were at the mall we were in Macy's and I was like telling my mom like oh I was showing her like this is a perfume that I want and the lady working the counter was like how old are you I, think I was like 16 or 17 at the time and she was like oh girl like this, this is a little much for you basically like it's a little mature for you. I will never forget that. I eventually got this perfume and it has been a staple in my collection. This is the second bottle. This is definitely like a date night, warm, sexy scent. When you wear this, you're like, bitch, I'm here. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready. This is definitely like a warm weather perfume, a winter perfume. Um, I don't really ever wear this during the summertime. It's a little bit too heavy for summertime, in my opinion. And then the last couple of things that I want to share are just some candles. Bath & Body was having an amazing sale the other day. All their three wick candles were $9.80 or $9.50, something like that. I wanted to order some online, but by the time I got online, they were actually all sold out. So you could only get them in store. And that's the last thing that I wanted to do, but I just waited too long to get them online. So I went to the mall, took my ass to the mall on a Saturday at like 6 p.m. I dragged Raymond with me and... <laughs> Bath and Body was insane. It was a madhouse, but I managed to get some candles. The first one that I picked up is in the scent Chestnut and Clove. 
What I like about this one is it's not too strong, it's not overpowering. I like to burn this one in our room because the room isn't that big and I don't like anything that's like too sweet or too overpowering for a small space. It could just be like too much and almost like nauseating sometimes. The notes on this one are warm roasted chestnut, fresh ground clove, cedarwood, and essential oils. It smells really, really good. Fresh clean and the next one that I got is a classic it's the mahogany teak wood high intensity <sighs> oh, God, I will never ever get sick of this scent this is such a classic notes on this one it says an intense version of our classic home fragrance with notes of rich mahogany black teak wood dark oak and frosted lavender with essential oils so good absolutely amazing the candle behind there is probably my favorite that I bought which is why it's the first one that I burned. This one is Tis the Season. This one literally smells like Christmas. It smells like just good, warm, cozy. I mean, how many times am I going to say warm and cozy? Alright guys, so that completes this video. That's everything that I have been loving in the past couple months. Everything that I wanted to share with you guys. If you try out any of these products, please let me know in the comments down below. I always want to know if you guys try out any of my recommendations or if these are any of your staples in your collection let me know as always thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe before you leave give this video a big thumbs up and yeah until next time i will see you guys very soon bye